for us look we are not uh, we are not we are not uh, concerned about a uh, ball being kicked to us because we are consoled by the fact that the people of Zambia know it's like when you are playing football when you are playing football you can have a game where one team wins but those who were watching even the World Cup final you can see a team win but the rest of the world condemns the referee for being biased in this particular in instance the referee part of the referee is the media we have seen certain media uh, outlets providing a platform to things they know this can't be true the people know that even no matter how much our colleagues in PF wanted to try and paint this to be a UPND scheme, it has boomeranged. It has backfired badly in their face. Because they have touched on one of the most prized, precious assets of this country. The peace of this country. The unity and love of Zambians. When you temper with that, then you want to rush and do your political propaganda. Zambians will say, no, we don't agree with this. And this is what has just happened in Zambia. Zambians have refused any machinations to try and malign UPND to say this is UPND. It is not just us. In fact, uh, us as UPND. Didn't you hear the other time we had a briefing where we are saying, we are not aware of this. We are not aware of this. Because we wanted to calm the nation. We have a responsibility as leaders not to fan anarchy. We have a responsibility not to heighten anxiety and tension in the country. And many people are asking, ah, what is going on with UPND? We are leaders. We have a responsibility to do what is right when duty calls. Honorable, the if PF have lamentably failed to nail UPND on the cross over this. Let them just stop this gas attacks and let no mouse resume. Then let's go to the political you know, battlefront and, and be able to contest on political you know, uh, on ideas. So on Social media is now flooded with a lot of rumors. People are calling us who are in positions of leadership giving information some of which may not be true rumors such as someone who called me to say you tell HH to be on the lookout now because these schemes have not ended of wanting him to be uh, arrested and placed on a treason charge so that come 2021 he does not contest elections even his properties now he should be on the lookout. Something may be planted at one of his farms or one of his uh, you know, houses or one of his uh, 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 business enterprises. Something may be planted. Then some people will, 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 will pretend to, be, to, to, to have been tipped and say, no, this is what we have now discovered. This it was you know, uh, hidden at HH's farm, hidden at HH's business, hidden at HH's house. All these uh, rumors, all these statements that we are receiving from people who are concerned are arising out of failure to give certainty by government. You and can we blame people who are now beginning to, to, to speculate? We can't. Uh, the position of the UPND is the position of every Zambian except those who are participants in the gassing attacks. The Zambian people are disappointed with the way government has handled these gas attacks. Quite all right, they are unprecedented. But Zambia has so much capacity in its security and defense wings that this issue surely could not spread to the countryside like bushfire unabated and at a time when these gas attacks are taking place 
right across the country, the political leadership at the apex appears not to take this as an emergency and be able to communicate to the nation the country's preparedness to confront this evil. President Edgar Lungu has been strangely and conspicuously quiet on this matter. And now, as we speak, if you turn on CNN, this is Thursday, today, you turn on CNN, you will see that there was a shooting in Milwaukee County in the United States. And Donald Trump has stopped all whatever he was doing and rushed to the scene of crime together with his vice president to go and see what has happened and has been updating the nation and the world and promising the citizens to calm down as he has deployed his security machinery to bring calm and sanity to that particular uh, you know uh, place have we seen this from president lungu the answer is no what have we seen president lungu going to spend five days campaigning in chirubi for the very first time i've been in politics now for almost two decades it is the first time i am seeing a president go to a by-election in one particular constituency and build a home there for five days he's campaigning. Yet, when we have a national emergency such as these gas attacks, the president doesn't seem to have the time to interact with the citizens, to assure the citizens of the security situation and the measures government is deploying quiet and when some citizens begin to suspect the involvement of government in these gas attacks some people say let's not do finger pointing of course even us as UPND we have been advocates to say finger pointing will not help but the problem we are having is that room is being left a vacuum appears to be deliberately being created for finger pointing by government not coming in quickly at the highest level of leadership to fill in the blanks and people are beginning to suspect and rightly so that maybe maybe 